Okay, I'm going to show you how I do the the nice domed fret, fret ends and uh, get the fret prepared ready for uh, putting into the into the fretboard. First tool you need is one of these, an optical visor. I don't use this little thing off the side much, but the uh, this is invaluable for being able to see exactly what's going on. First thing is to measure where the uh, where the fret's going to go, measure the, the size of the, the fretboard. 1.958 Okay, so I want to take off 30,000, so it's 1.928 because uh, I don't want the fret to go over the edge of the, of the board at all, I want it to come right up to within about 15 thousandths of an inch to the edge just like these first two frets on here you can see there they cover the end of the fret slot nicely and they look fantastic here's the fret wire I'm using this uh, Evo fret wire and just cutting it off the off of the, the reel here with these uh, Stuart Mac fret nippers wonderful tool and uh, first things first is to uh, square up the end. So I'll put it into the vise here. I'm going to work one end first and then measure it precisely to fit the other end. So that's nice and square, perpendicular to the wire. And I'm going to now use another tool, a fret um, tang removing tool from uh, Luthier's Mercantile. And I saw it there last year, I think at the GAL convention. And I thought, hmm, that looks useful. And once they explained it to me, it was a must have tool. Really, really makes life easy. Um, so you simply you take the take the fret wire, shove it through this little tiny fret sized sh and shaped hole right here. Push it through about uh, just under a quarter inch, and then um, on this side of the tool there's rollers which have been set up so that the the file can run on the rollers and up against the edge here and up against here so you just simply file away until it doesn't file anymore and you've removed the tang completely and very accurately and cleanly and just removes just the tang nothing more doesn't dig in and make marks or leave, leave the end with a bit showing where you've dug in or whatever Beautiful. Oops, well, let's undo it first. I don't know if you can see that on the video, but uh, it's. Uh, let me hold it up against something. Might be easier to see then. It's actually very, very nicely done. Dead flat. Just the tang removed. That's all. Ready, ready to uh, make this square. Uh, first of all, it's it's square already. Now I'm just going to make it round like this. Best thing is to stand up for that one. A little bit off each side. It's actually easier to see um, what shape it is by turning it over looking from the bottom and then and sometimes I'll just make small adjustments like this so once that's a nice round shape then you can go ahead and um, Put the uh, the rest of the doming from the side like this. 
Well, that's pretty best to file downwards. I'm going to go straight to 600. So a piece of 600 grit paper starts to put a nice sheen on it. That looks good. And then I go 1500 grit paper. And then it starts to look shiny. Just starting to look shiny. Right, and then I take it out. And actually, then I use, I've got a, a cork, a piece of cork that I've stuck onto a little plywood block. And this um, white rouge finishing compound from uh, I think it's made by Jet, yeah, for for the Jet uh, polishing machine, and then I just just hit it with that. That stuff is great. It's just like uh, Jeweler's Rouge, but it's white. <laughs> Doesn't smell very nice, but it's uh, does the job. And then a little rag, wipe the compound off. That is awesome. The trick is to measure it precisely and uh, do the other end. And we already measured this. We've got this precise. 1.928 is where we want to be. I locked it in already. So I'm going to uh, use one of these. Sharpie markers. Put the vernier on there. Mark it. And you'll notice that the where you mark it, it the uh, let's do it again. There, the line is because oh, the pen can't get right up to the uh, mark, so. I always cut just a tiny bit this side of the, where I marked it to allow for the, the pen mark. I, over time you just get to I, be able to eyeball these things without much trouble. So using the Stuart Mac nippers again. Cut it right there. Then square it up. I've got it squared, so the next thing I want to do is to de detang it. There we go. One perfect fret. Very nice. Okay, we're over here at the uh, the mechanical press. So first thing is to start the fret off in the slot. That's it, right there. Just give it a little bit of a start. And then put it in the press, make sure it's centered, and go for it. And then I like to offset it a little bit here, and press the sides down separately. Makes, makes a very good job of pressing it in very, very flat all the way across. Um, so I don't know if you can see. You can see it's all done beautiful. Right.